talks a lot about disruptive technology. We're in the property industry, I'm the disruptive technology. I'll make an apology to those of my clients in the room. I am a pain in the ass. Um, the reason I am a pain in the ass is not because I enjoy being that, it's because the customers um, that we deal with, who range from brands, experiential agencies, um, you know, startups, um, even existing retailers, come to us going, we need a new proposition, we need a new way of exerting our influence on, on our <laughs> customer base. Um, and the way we need to do that is by having better uh, uh, delivery of, of physical space. And the Brand Hub model is a very simple one. Um, Justin quite astutely realised, although it's a very grandiose idea, what Brand Hub will aim to be will be the Regis of the high street, in the sense that until brands can forward book and plan their uh, marketing and PR activities around launches of new products and services um, into physical spaces within the shopping environment, it's going to be very difficult to change the retail landscape. Um, I make no apologies for the fact that our business has always been demand-led, but obviously in a good recession, um, we've got a lot of property owners coming to us who are very supply-led, i.e. they have lots of empty units, and again, what the hell do we do with them? Um, that's a fantastic um, position for us to be in, but it's not necessarily the solution to the problem. And um, I'm sure I'll end up being very controversial with some of Mary Portis's proposals in the, in the coming months. Um, the proposition was really about how do you bring retail a new dimension. The, the reality of a lot of the customer inquiries we're getting is that these are not retailers coming to us, or even necessarily products and services that retail. Uh, we took the view, pragmatically, that the only way to solve the retail problem is to go after people who aren't retailers. There aren't loads of magic retailers coming over the horizon to save us from all these vacant shops. We took the view that lots of brands have a reason to physically connect with their customers, but that, that proposition has been limited to things like exhibitions, um, um, events, that kind of thing. Yet, actually, the majority of the people are out there on the high street and in shopping centres. But um, where you've seen a traditional decline in the occupier market, and I allude to things like insurance brokers, travel agents, type of people who traditionally would have been on the high street are now all online. But a lot of the physical interaction has now been lost. And the way that we see Brand Hub developing is that we will actually start seeing a, a shift towards creating those physical interactions to influence the purchasing decision making. But it may be that the brands are taking ownership of that and doing it directly. Now obviously some brands have gone down the retail route, often with a, to great cost. Obviously a lot of sports retailers try to do it directly. And actually we think the brand hub proposition is a more compelling one. The idea really is that you would be able to book a brand hub in advance in a number of centres across the UK. In fact we'd love to see one on every high street. So not only will it enable brands to get better geographical penetration, but they'll be able to better replicate their online business because the whole problem of online is it is everywhere. The problem is if you're a startup business, you've got one shop and there's a disconnect there that needs to be addressed. If I'm going to start a retail business, which I may do in the next six months, to prove the whole point of what I'm talking about, is the idea that actually I would prefer to be in 12 cities for one month than in one city for 12 months because it's too much of a costly mistake for me as a business, risking my kids' future and if the egg feeds is worth their inheritance, to do that and get it wrong. I'd much prefer to use property in a way that I'm experiencing it. I want to try before I buy. It's a very costly mistake to take a five or 10 year lease on something where I might just be in the wrong place. And you'll know that within a month. It's no different if you buy a house or buy a car. You know whether you've made the right or wrong decision pretty quickly. Now obviously that requires a change in mindset of the property owners, but thankfully the market is in our favour in terms of persuading you have some empty units. They're not difficult to hide. Um, to be fair to the property guys, they're very resource um, uh, short, they don't have people to deal with this and that's where the brand hub model comes in. It's about providing a promotional and management service to support those people who wouldn't otherwise want to go anywhere near a shop unit to encourage them to take it on and see it as a commercial proposition. Um, crucially, I um, took the view that pictures are the way forward rather than words. This is something we've done recently, so Ocado, um did a literally a window shopping uh, project which they did in London and we persuaded them to go to Bristol um, as well where people physically just scanned <laughs> barcodes on their things and it was ordered and delivered. Now that was largely driven as a PR um, exercise around a new initiative but there's no reason why that could not be articulated into, into the actual physical unit and, and you completely change your, your retail model. Um, shopping's boring. 
fundamentally, if anyone disagrees with me, let me know. Um, shopping is really boring and everyone talks about experiential, but what does it really mean? Well, we know because we're doing it every day. Next week, you'll hear about the launch of a, a BA pop up restaurant in Shoreditch, which we're currently fitting out in what can only be described as semi derelict uh, grade two listed Victorian shop unit in Shoreditch. Um, but they're building a, a, an aircraft fuselage in there and going will be doing £50 a head um, uh, in, in flight mill um, menu designed by Heston Blumenthal. Now, if that's not experiential and a mouthful in both ways, I don't know what is, but it will really show you why someone like BA, who's not a retailer, wants to influence the consumer uh, decision making. Um, you know, if you can do it with products like Brill Cream, and crucially, we did this last year, which is fantastic. We found um, Heinz somewhere to do a pop-up Heinz cafe, and they were paying for it, which is fair enough. But um, we see Brand Hub as providing not just a retail experience, but you know, one of the missed tricks from this, and certainly things we're feeding back into the brands is, you know, Heinz would have done very well to bring their graduates in to sit there and serve the people, because the stories that were coming out about Bay Beans, not all of them were negative. Um, were, were fascinating and gave a real insight to something as simple as a baked bean, had a brand story, had a brand following that was remarkable. We even had people from the city trying to book tables to come in and have their meetings around the baked bean um, feast that was on. Um, and, you know, I think the, the retail mindset has fundamentally changed, often through the brands, but the property guys have got to play a catch-up game. But they'll be very much led by the people who come up with the innovation. We, we, we're sort of constantly challenging people to come up with crazy ideas for us to find them units where we can do things that really knock the socks off anything else on, on in the high street. Um, and we're very much focused on this being, can, it's got to be sustainable, it's got to be commercial. We can't fill our high streets with charity shops and community initiatives, however worthy they are, that's not a long term viable proposition. But the exciting for this is that Brand Hub model, as we'd like to call it, will enable startups, it will enable businesses looking to expand to try locations, not get it wrong. But crucially, to look at brand extensions, it's all where it's expensive and planning takes a long time to build bigger shopping centres. But actually an empty unit might be right next to your store where you're looking to expand or, or try a new service. Why not take it and try it? And we're here if anyone needs us to make that happen. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.